I'm Kieran the Barber and today I'm going to be doing a hair tutorial on a scumbag boogie. A scumbag boogie is a razor fade side part. But what you do is you leave it slightly wedged, slightly coming up, pretty much like my hair. Other than I'm going to be taking the hard part all the way back right to the crown. Skin faded nice and low, nice and tight. For that I'm going to be using my Andis fades um, and a couple of other Andis tools. If you like my video, please give me a like, subscribe. I really hope you enjoy it. I really hope you learned something. Leave me some comments. Thank you very much. Have you ever felt? Are you listening? Damn. Uh. Yeah. So what I'm going to be using is I'm going to be using my Andis fades. Um, I'm pretty much going to describe to you the difference between the US Pros and the fades. So now with my, what am I using first? I'm going to show you my fades. They are awesome. They have a surgical blade and the US Pros have, oh no, there you go. I'm showing you what the difference is between them. Like there's not much difference except for the, here we go. Right, the fade has a surgical flathead blade so it proper you have to scratch it against the skin more than do a c motion you can't really do a c motion as as you can see on the us pros they have more of a pivot blade um so for doing c sections and stuff like that, like c motion it's a lot easier um my fade masters i'm showing people that they're pretty much zero gap they come zero gap straight away they're really sharp um i didn't need to change them at all and, and they're an awesome tool and that's all I have to say about that really so for this part the mic still wasn't switched on um, it does get switched on in a minute and the worst thing is you can't hear this amazing clipper sound I can I can do the noise like but I, it just sounds stupid <laughs> I'm pretty much showing you that I'm going in with a zero um, and literally I'm taking that just up nice straight line just all the way across the hair pretty much to the middle of the ear so I'm bringing it all the way around this is what I do on like 90% of my haircuts when I'm doing skin fades I'll take it up to that halfway point if it's like a, if, if it's a normal skin fade if it's not a low skin fade or a high skin fade I will take it up to that midpoint um, just because it looks nice I don't I don't use my um, my foil shavers on this um, mainly because I it just gets so close with this anyway and and I don't think the scumbag boogie looks really that nice with with a proper proper foil shea I just think it looks nice with a little bit of stubble a little bit of something there just to show the shape so yeah no and then I'm going right in so yeah no and then I'm going back round and that's pretty much that so shaving into the side of the um the parting side i take it up mid midway as i would i don't take it any higher than the, sh the shape up the edging around the edging i won't take it any past that corner because mainly what i want to do is i want to get them sharp corners nice i think if you take unless you want a high skin fade obviously if you take it any higher than that it gets rounded it just doesn't look nice it doesn't give a sharp real nice sharp edge around the edges so what i try and do is Try and do nothing. Now what I do is with my Andis fades, I've done a zero all the way around. I put that onto a half grade. I sort my wire out first, and then I literally just freehand up. And you see, I'm not flicking. I'm literally like like you would do with a flat top. I'm just coming up, I'm slowly, slowly getting this fade out. So for a scumbag boogie guys, what you want to be doing is you're going to be fading it low, keeping this bit nice and heavy. Same as the side bit here, you want to be keeping all this bit nice, high and tight. 
So it's not necessarily a side part where it takes it up, it's more square, it comes more flat. So now what I'm going to do is I'm going to be going down to a quarter, a quarter. I'm going to push Shane to politely put his head down slightly. I'm going to get my little brush, just going to brush all the hairs off just to make sure I can see the fade properly. Just give my clippers a wipe. Spray with some Proline. That anything that you guys can think of that you'd like me to make for you, I'll happily give it a shot, I'll give it my best. Um, I want to do some more different videos, but I want to hear from all you guys to see what you want really. Um, I'm just going to keep those videos out there, and hopefully everyone's going to watch them. As you can see now that's starting to fade in real, real nice. I just keep adjusting, literally I'll just keep adjusting. I'll see a little bit, I'll see a little bit of shadow. I'll know what sort of length it's at and I'll put it on a half grade or a quarter grade or a zero. And I'll, and I'll shave up. So now fading in the sides, I've left this bit heavy on purpose. I don't want it to come in, I want that to sit slightly over. I'm gonna stick the line in nice and prominent. I'm gonna come around, I'm gonna shape up all around the edges. Just gonna go around the edges on both sides. And then what we're gonna do is we're gonna cut into the top slightly. I'm gonna, I'm gonna texturize it because I don't want it to be a pomp and I don't want it to be uh, a side part. I want it to be real messy, texturized, push back. So when you see, when you stick pomade in it or when you stick wax in there, you see the definition all in the hair. So you see it all the way through the hair instead of it being nice, flat and sort of club cut. You want it to be real texturized coming through. That's what makes it sort of scumbaggy. Before I start, I'm going to be using my TL liners with my TL liner blade on the UK version. I'm trying out my new camera guys, I've got a Canon 700D with a Rode mic um, and stuff like that, so I'm, doing, I'm still, this video is sort of, even though I'm doing Shay's hair, Shay's awesome, and we're giving him the best haircut he's ever had in his life, um, this again for me is still, I'm testing out my new camera, 
I'm testing out the microphone because a lot of people on um, my other videos said they can't hear me very well. Um, so yeah, that's this is one of my reasons I'm doing this video is to also see what the quality and, and the in the camera's like for filming and stuff because I've been taking pictures with it recently um, and it's, it's really really good for pictures so I'm just obviously seeing what it's like on the, the filming side of it. So guys, what well, first things first, I'm gonna I'm gonna club cut it slightly all the way through just to make sure it's nice and straight before I start texturizing because some people just chip in and hack straight away. I like to make sure that the cut is nice and straight all over before I even start doing anything. So what I'll do is I'll take a section of a quarter of an inch. I'll just cut from front to back and then I'll go from the right side taking off another quarter of an inch again coming from front to back just at an ever so slight angle so it starts to lay and blend in with this side on this side I like to leave quite heavy obviously because it's the part side you don't want it to blend in you want it to be very disconnected so again I'll just take off quarter of an inch but I'll have my fingers nice and dead straight while I'm taking off the length. Right guys, this is the MVP, um, the UK version of the MVP. What it is, is it is a two-speed um, rotary motor. So for one speed, two speed, it also is for detachable blades. For any type of detachable blades, you can really stick on it. Um, for me personally, I'm going to be using the T24 blade. Um, the T24 blade is, um, T stands for texture. 24 is the 24% that it takes off the amount of hair. So what it does is, it is pretty much like Escalapse, thin and scissors. It gets through the hair, thins it out nice, it's just, uh, a sh just using shear work or clipper work or whatever you want to call it. So these are these are the attachable heads that you can stick on it. You've got the outliner which is a 6-0, I've got a 3-0, I've got a 2, I've got a 1, and I've got a 3.5. I've also got a 5-0, and I've got, a, what is that? That's a three, that's pretty much a number 4. Um, so you can get all sorts of detachable blades for these. They come in two speeds just for the sure fact of getting through softer hair when you're texturizing, you use it on the one speed. If you're getting through thick and coarse hair, you use it on the two speed. That is literally it. Right, so literally, just like with your thinner scissors, just going to be pulling through the hair, texturizing it, taking out 24% of it each stroke. Don't be scared. Um, and always try something new. That's what I, I've been taught over the last few years is to Get out of your comfort zone a little bit, learn new things, have fun, enjoy your job. Don't be doing the same job every single day. Find new ways of doing things and just have fun with it. I mean, I could use thin and scissors realistically if I wanted to, but this just looks and feels so much fucking cooler. That's literally it. And it's awesome. So as you can see, you can literally see the hair flying off. Now I've used it in my video before, I'm going to be lubing up Shay. Come on, laugh, it's okay. <laughs> um, with a little bit of oil spray. I'm going to oil spray my cutthroat and oil spray his face. And we're going to razor in his hard part. 
So what I'm going to do is I'm just going to come over so you can all see. Right guys, now it's on to the blow drying part. So what I'm gonna do now is, um, I've re-wet Shay's hair down. I'm gonna stick some of Baldi's Barbers. Big shout out Baldi, blah, blah. It tastes salty. Um, it's a sea salt spray, nothing more, nothing less. What it does is it will just give the hair some slight definition, some slight hold when I'm blow drying in. Does it taste salty? <laughs> Tingles a bit, doesn't it? Yeah. Right, so I'm gonna use my hand this hair dryer now, and what I'm gonna be doing is I'm not gonna have it on full wax. I'm gonna have it on quite low, moderate, low heat as well. Finger drying the hair, not combing it. So what I'm gonna be doing is I'm gonna be using four fingers. Just like that, nice. You get it through the hair, pull it in, lift it up, pull it in, lift it up. Because you want to get the texture in the hair. You don't want it to look straight. For a scumbag, you want it to look very, very texturized, but still keeping that sort of pompy sort of look, side part. And hence why I'm just literally so through my hair, lifting it up. Right guys, so what I'm going to use now in Shay's hair, I'm going to use some raw muck. Um, it's a gloss finish and it's a firm hold just to give it that sort of slit and sort of 1920s, 1930s look. Right, guys, so literally a five pence piece of what is it called? Raw muck. Put it into my hands and just back, put it all the way through the back first and then back through the front just to make sure it holds and you can see Shay's hair starting to get that glossy sort of shine to it and then if I just can finger wave this through so now if I use a, a wide tooth comb just to go through the hair slightly before I stop um, just put my fingers sort of through it again just to give it a shape um, I learned the whole the waxing technique from um, John Bourne of, of Barber Town, you should give him a follow on Instagram. Massive inspiration of mine. Because um, I used to, what I used to do was I used to do my pumps, get my wax, put it all the way through the front of the hair. He said, what he advised me to do, which actually has made my hair, my barbering game a lot better, is you put the wax through the back of the hair first, and then you put it through the front of the hair. Because what that does is it coats the whole head if you come across, and you put it through the back, then through the front, what that does is it coats, the, as you say, the whole head, pushing it forward and giving it that height and definition. Um, he's a part of the New World Barbers, by the way. And like, it's a, it's a big group of us barbers. What we are, we're, our, we're an elite team of awesome bastards, really. Um, and there's some massive, massive inspirations. Go on, go on Instagram and search up New World Barbers. Give us a follow. Um, some some massive big time game players in there. Um, the big daddy Boldy at Boldy's Barbers on Instagram. You've got the likes. I mean, one of my favourite barbers in the UK, Alan Beak. 
give at Alan Beak a follow on Instagram. Um, his brother Reese, Mozambique. Um, you've got young and talented Jay Fades. You've got people like that on there. Um, you've got the likes of like Gregory Max and Cutthroat Club, Dublin Barber. There's absolutely loads of real, real talent. I know the people who I haven't said are going to absolutely murder me, but there's there's some absolutely fantastic barbers on there. Go and have a look at us. And there's loads of competitions that we always do on the, on our Instagram as well to give away free Andis clippers and, and etc, etc, stuff like that. Free um, clipper converters. Um, we do all sorts of competitions. So, so give us a follow, check us, check us all out. We're pretty cool. Back to the haircut just while I'm here. I don't know what he looks like, I was too busy talking. That is my version of a scumbag boogie. Ta-da! Right guys, um, this is my finished version of a scumbag boogie. Um, as you see, I've left it nice and heavy. It's completely different from, from what a pomp and stuff, because a pomp is very straight, club cut, very, as um, a scumbag boogie is very texturized, very messy, but it still gives it that real smart, slick look. Um, and it's, it's a real fantastic haircut. It's one of them haircuts where you don't necessarily have to do every day. You can stick, stick some wax in and slick it back and it looks. So yeah, I just want to thank everyone for watching my video and everyone for putting up with my absolute crap. Um, let me know what you all think. I really hope you enjoyed it. Thank you so much for watching.